All right, guys, I'm streaming at the moment, so ignore anything that comes through in the background. Um, I'm making a quick video on how the updated Alt-1 uh, toolkit works for the scan pings. Um, there's a bit of confusion around it. I kind of wanted to make a video just to explain how it actually works because it is quite simple and it is very useful, especially if you're learning clues. So um, I'm going to go through and do a few different areas. Um, I'm finding the, the spot before uh, like I show you guys on stream. So when, when I'm running through this video, you'll like, I know where the spot is already, but just for explanation purposes, I'm going through and showing it um, kind of the slow way, basically. So this clue, um, Lumbridge Swamp, we're going to go to quest, pa uh, quest Point Cape, option eight, take us to Juna. <clears throat> And when you kind of get into the area, you'll see um, a red box appear on the Alt-1 overlay. And that is going to be your scan range. So at the moment, I'm running towards to get into the caves. And I'm in the caves now. So it's going to start scanning. I'm 16 paces away with a plus 5 for my meerkat. Um, and as I move, you'll see over the Alt-1 um, interface down here, the red box should appear, hasn't yet, but it should. And there it is there. So the red box unfortunately does take a little bit of time to load in, but once it does load in, um, it's very helpful. So I'll kind of zoom in on it to explain better. Um, the red dot is yourself, the player character in the center. Then the red box around that is the scan range that the interface lists. So if the clue was, for example, in this spot here, it would be flashing red right now because I'd be within the range. Um, but as you can see, I'm flashing blue. Now, flashing blue means that I'm the correct clue location is outside the dotted red line because that's the furthest of the scan range. So <clears throat> in the middle around the character is going to be your red. In the second square is going to be your orange. And then if the clue is outside of that, it's going to be blue, which it is blue currently. So because I'm in this location, you can see that the, the, the markers are being grayed out. That's because Alt-1 has determined that none of these spots are the correct location based off of the scan ping. So this spot over here is definitely not it. This spot here is not it. This spot here is not it. Because if they were it, the scan ping would be a different color. So if we go up this way where you can see these four here that aren't grayed out yet, you'll see as I run towards them, the scan is going to change color when I cross them off. So I just cross that one off and I'm still blue. So therefore it is not that one. Now there's three locations left to check in the swamp and it's just gone orange and these two have just crossed out and that one's crossed out. So I can tell you now that with certainty that it's either gonna be this one here or this one here. If you go back, you can actually determine which one it is before you even get there. So just remember the red box does lag slightly behind the player. It's not real time accurate, but it is quite close. So you can see here I'm blue at the moment. If I take one step forward, I'm blue still. And I'm just turned orange then. But I'm, well, I've crossed this one off here and I've just turned orange on this marker right here. So I can tell you now with certainty that this marker here is going to be the correct clue location. So as I run towards it, the clue will be right up here where my mouse is clicking in the top left, and there it is right there. So I'll come back with another faster explanation on a different location, some that people struggle with, like Elven Lands or um, the Desert and stuff like that. But that's basically the general gist of how the compass actually, or sorry, how the scan actually works. Alright, so um, I got a Nada clue um, like before. I know where this one is, but for the purpose of the video, I'll show you how the scan trainer works. So we're starting barriering. This is where I usually start anyway. Um, as, I, as I tally in, the red box appears and I'm pinging blue, which immediately eliminates everything inside this range here. Um, I take a step to the south and then surge, which spots out the other two and I'm still blue so now I know that it's nothing to the south of me from here I usually and I usually go Uza which I do anyway um, when I get to Uza the red box shifts and you'll see it also grays out everything else around me and I'm still blue which now means that this 
clue has to be either here, 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 or here, or here. That's the only options that it can be. I've grayed out everything else and I've been blue the entire time. So you can just tally up to Eagle's Peak if you want, but for the purpose of video, um, I'll surge still blue, grayed out that. Okay, so there we go. So I've just got my answer. So it has to be, so I've, I'm blue here and I've grayed out this and this. This one's on the edge. Take a step, still blue, still blue. I'm inside this range here now for this one and I'm still blue. It means it's probably this one here. Step forward again, again. I've just gone orange there and it's right on this one here. 100% certainly be where I need to go. Um, second and there it is. Cool. That's how you would do something like that, for example. I'll pause here, I'll come back with like an Elven Lands one, and we'll go from there. Alright, um, this is the last clue I was going to show off. Um, this one's the Elven Lands, which a lot of people find annoying. Um, this is just the way I do it, may not, not, may not be the best way, but it's just the way I do it. Um, so for the Scan Trainer, um, I go elf, or elf City first, or Elf Township or whatever. I'm pinging blue, so that on the scan trainer crosses off everything in the blue area. Um, from here, I go to the mushroom patch. Scan trainer will come with me when I land. It's a little bit delayed. Um, I'm still blue, and everything here has been crossed off. So the only one between elf, elf, or elf Township and Mushroom Patch, the only one I missed is the one at the Magic Tree. So that's unknown because it's still not grayed out. So I just leave that one till last, basically. Um, from here, because I'm still blue and everything's crossed off, I go to Amp next. I'm still pinging blue, and Elf Camp has grayed out a lot more stuff there. So from here... Because I'm still blue, I run over to Dense Forest over here. See my red lines are moving. I've just gone orange ping, and these two locations have grayed out. So that tells me definitively 100% that correct location for the clue is one of these two. That's this far red line on the square went went across these two locations when my ping changed from blue to orange. Run up here. 100% it's exactly where we thought it was. Um, if you guys have questions beyond what I've explained with how to use this thing, uh, message me on Discord, Iris Stormy. Um, but yeah, it's just a bit of practice, play around with it, trial and error. You do get a feel for it fairly quickly. Um, and the, the red box, even though it is slightly delayed, is very useful. So learn how to use it properly your scans will become much more all right thanks for watching everyone